Okay, so this next skill that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is going to be um, ambulation. So you're going to need to explain to your patient what you're going to be doing. You're going to be putting a, a gate belt around them, which we're going to show you in a second here. And um, that's going to allow you to stabilize your patient, okay? And then you're going to be walking 10 steps forward, turning around and walking 10 steps back and placing your patient back in the chair. So you're going to need a little bit of space for this one. All right, so we're just going to knock in here. Knock, knock, knock. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. How are we doing today? Okay. Right. Fantastic. My name is Michael, and I'm going to be your CNA today. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get you up and get you walking around, okay? We're going to ambulate you, all right? So you want to explain to the patient in very simplistic terms what you're going to be doing, because sometimes if you say ambulating, they think that they're going in an ambulance somewhere, and you don't want to confuse the two, okay? So you're going to go ahead and close the curtain. You're then going to go ahead and perform your hand hygiene, okay? You're then going to come over and get a gate belt, okay? And those of you who have never seen a gate belt before, it operates literally like a regular belt, okay? And we're going to make a separate video for that and show you guys exactly how the gate belt actually works, okay? So, Ms. Jones, we're just going to go ahead and put this around your waist, okay? And making sure that it is not tangled in the back, okay? So in order to secure this, you're going to secure it in the teeth first, okay? And you want to make sure that it's fairly tight on your patient, all right? So using two fingers together, you're just going to check the waist and make sure that you can comfortably get two fingers in there, okay? Now if you get two fingers in there and it's super loose, all right, you want to make sure that you tighten it up, okay? All right, Ms. Jones, so you're all set. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and stand you up, okay? So I'm going to place one foot right in front of the two feet here, okay, in between rather. This is going to keep your center of gravity, okay. Make sure that when you're picking up, keep your back straight. You don't want to hurt yourself, okay. Left and right goes underneath the gate belt, okay. You're going to place your left and right hands on my shoulders, okay. And on the count of three, she's going to stand up along with me. So here we go. One, two, and three. All right. There we go. Okay. Do you feel dizzy at all? No. Okay. Fantastic. So now I'm just going to get ahead and I'm going to move to the back side, okay, her back I'm holding, and to her side, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and take 10 steps forward. So you're just going to walk and match your patient's steps. Okay. Now do you feel dizzy at all? No. Okay, good. You want to make sure that you ask at the end of the first 10 steps, are you dizzy? Turn around and come back. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and turn you, all right, and make sure that you feel your calves on the back of the chair, all right, don't sit down, and notice how I'm keeping both my hands on the belt as much as possible, you do not want to take your hands off the belt in case your patient falls, all right, now you're going to go ahead and sit them down exactly how you got them up, so hands on shoulders, all right, we're going to sit down on three, one, two, and three, all right, do you feel okay? Excellent. You want to always ask your patient how they are feeling, okay? And then you're going to go up and over your patient's head right there, so that way there's no friction caused by the gate belt. So, Ms. Jones, is there anything else that I can do for you today? No. Fantastic. Would you like a magazine? No. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and now place the call bell as close to your patient as possible. You're now going to open the curtain perform hand hygiene, look at your patient, make sure in your head that you've done the skill correctly, correct any mistakes, and tell the evaluator, I'm done with this skill.